We're here at the pavilion on the Oxford Road, which is now the Life Spring Church. Its site was first developed in the mid 19th century as the Clyde House School, which catered for young ladies of what was then Reading's most affluent neighborhood. Later, in 1929, the Pavilion Cinema was opened. It closed in 1979, became a bingo hall, and then a snooker hall. In April 2012, the Life Spring Church bought the property and restored it to its former Art Nouveau glory. Yes, well, we've obviously put these seats in ourselves when we first came here um, seven or eight years ago. Um, the original seats were still in, actually, but they were boarded up behind a, a false wall. Um, but when we moved in, we removed them all and eventually we replaced them ourselves. And we now use this partly to the, for the church congregation, but also as a cinema club on occasions too. When we first came here, the original screen and everything was still in place, but that was removed and we built up the stage so that we could operate from there. When we came, the, there was a false ceiling um, below where we are now. Um, it was held up actually by 400 cords up into the main ceiling here. Um, so our job as a church was to rep repair 400 holes in the ceiling, but also we wanted to keep the ornamental uh, part going around the side as well. So we, we repaired what needed to be repaired, replaced what needed to be replaced, and we painted it, um, probably not to its original style, but we wanted to have it in keeping with the, the old cinema that it, that it used to be. So behind me, there are two windows, which were where the original projectors used to screen um, down to, to the, obviously, screen at the front of the building. And uh, that's a separate little room now, but um, we've kept those features there just to remind everybody what it was at one time. So when, when we came here, as I said earlier on, there was a false ceiling. So above the ceiling had been dark and empty for the last 40, 50 years or so. And um, the windows were all darkened up, we, we think maybe from the war. And so we had to replace the windows, but we tried to keep the facades down the side um, as best as we could. And then at the front of the building were, were vents, um, which again, we've restored and, and, and managed to keep. So you may wonder why we call this the pavilion. Um, it was Riley's Snooker Hall before we moved in, but it was originally a cinema. And um, 1929, it was opened as the pavilion. And so we went back to the original name, which we felt was appropriate as well for our use too.